In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a bar chart. So whenever you're drawing a bar chart, one of the most important things is to always, always use a pencil and a ruler. Uh, that includes even labeling the numbers on the axes, okay? And use a rubber if you make a mistake, okay? Next, um, always put uh, along the vertical axis the frequency. So you're going to put frequency up the vertical axis. Always make sure that you keep the bars the same width. Okay, so on your bar chart, make sure you're keeping each of the bars in the bar chart the same size across, okay, the same width. The only thing that should be changing with the bars is the height of them. And finally, um, normally you will have gaps between the bars. That's for discrete data. Um, otherwise, it becomes a histogram for continuous data. Um, so normally, there's going to be gaps between your bars. And make sure those gaps stay the same size throughout. Okay, so we're going to draw a bar chart for this set of information. So we've got shoe size, 4, 5, 6, and 7. That'll go along the horizontal axis. And the frequency, which will go up the vertical axis. Frequency always has to start at 0 and goes up to the largest number, which is 10. So it's going to go up from 0 to 10. Okay, okay so you get your um, squared paper, like so, and get a ruler, get your pencil, and we're going to first of all start off by drawing our axes. Okay, so our horizontal axis was for shoe size. So let's just start at a particular point. Let's just start here and draw your horizontal axis, like so. And then draw your vertical axis. Uh, let's go from 0 up to the highest number, which was 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you wanted to, you could have gone up in two, so you could have gone up, uh, sorry, you could have t uh, taken two squares for each one, so gone zero, one, two, three, um, but make sure that you you, know, you keep the same size, so two squares, so zero there, then one, and then two, and then three, uh, you need to make sure you're consistent with that there, okay? So, I've gone up in one, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and that is our frequency so I'm going to put frequency here okay so I put the frequency up the vertical axis and then the shoe size along the bottom axis so the horizontal axis so uh, I'm going to do my each bar being two squares across so shoe size 4 will be here so it's going to be 4 I'm going to leave a gap of uh, two squares. It doesn't have to be. You could have done, I could have left a gap of one square. It's up to yourself. And then I'm going to do five. And it has to be the same size as this. So it has to be two squares. I'm going to leave a gap. The gap, again, has to be the same size. So it's going to be a gap of two squares. And then six. It has to be two squares. A gap of two. And then seven. Okay, let's just double check the, the information. So we're drawing a bar chart for this. So I've got my shoe size for, let's just actually label it to, shoe size. Okay, and then let's draw our bars. So four goes up to 10. So our first bar is gonna go up to 10. It goes up like so. The next bar for five went up to eight. So five goes up to eight. Okay, uh, shoe size 6 was 9. Like so. And finally, shoe size 7 was, the frequency was 2. If you want to colour these bars in, you can. Uh, the main thing is just to recap them. Uh, frequency goes up the side. Each bar is the same width, so each bar is two. The gaps are the same size. It lists include a title as well. So bar chart, bar chart to show shoe size. And we've labelled all our axes, and that's it. So that's how to draw a bar chart. 